Hi children, welcome back again. Okay, in this video we are going to start a new topic that is adaptation in the plant. Uh, we know that the how the adaptation uh, will be there, what how what are the types of the plants, and uh, we have derived or uh, differentiated types of the plants depending upon their height and their growth and their thickness. Isn't it? So already you have this idea. Then how do the different plants, we can see the plants in a different area. That area may be inside the water and on the land and in the cold region and in the dry region and in the uh, continuously for rainfall region and on the normal uh, where the very hot sun is there in that region. Everywhere the plants can be seen. Then how they have adopted in a different different areas that is we are learning in this video. Uh, for example, before this uh, in this chapter we will learn a word that is known as the habitat. This habitat, see for example, we all are uh, uh, the land, this earth is our habitat. Okay? We all are living on the earth. Then we cannot live under the water. Because our body is adjusted to the land and the climate on this land. Then we are able to live on the land. Okay, but whereas we are unable to live in the water. Because our body will not support the The features of our body will not support to live under the water. That is the natural environment. Where an organism that may be the animal that may be the plant. Where an organism is living. That is known as the habitat, the natural environment where a uh, particular organism can live. That is known as the habitat. Then, to live in a particular habitat, there must be an adaptation of our body. That may be the animal or that may be the plants. Then, adaptation means, see, my body is like this and it is adapted to the uh, this uh, climate. For example, I have this type of skin, I have black hair, I have like this ears, so I can uh, hear the sound. Whereas the ears and nose part of the fish is totally different from our body part of ears and the nose. Because that is adapted to live under the water. To live under the water, what are the features should be there that the fish has got. And to live on the earth and to uh, live like this life, what are the features should be there? My body or our body body has got okay so this is what the adaptation adaptation means what there will be a special features in the organism so in this in the plant then that those special features of the plant will help to grow well in the particular habitat that is known as the adaptation okay uh, and then we will learn why the coconut tree is like that why the rose tree is like this why is the uh, lotus tree is like that why the uh, lemon tree is like that why the apple tree is like that why the grapes tree plant is like that because those uh, body parts have adapted themselves to a into a special uh, features or special um, uh, uh, things that uh, which will help those plants to grow very well so that is known as the adaptation then, um, so you, as I, we are discussing about the plants, there are plants, as I told you, plants are on the land, plants are on the ice, plants are on the uh, upper uh, hill or mountains, plants are just seashore attached to the river uh, bank or seashore or it is, some plants are even in the river also, sea also, isn't it? Then, how do they have adopted it or how, uh, which type of uh, plants are there? First, there are plants uh, known as the terrestrial plants. Terrestrial plants means uh, the plants which are growing on the land. As you have learned, uh, terrestrial elements means animals which live on the land. Terrestrial plants means the pl plants which are um, growing on the land. The land may be uh, commonly like this whatever we have the land like this land at the normal temperature and land is there even in the very 
height point of the hill or mountain there also we have some type of trees or plants and here just around our houses also we have some type of plants and in a heavy rainfall region there also we have some types of plants and even very near to the water bodies there also we have some type of plants then how do those plants have adopted themselves uh, for that particular habitat we are learning now for example terrestrial plants means the plants which grow on the land are called as the terrestrial and again in the land we have different different points of the lands that is different uh, for example in the normal we can see neem mango banyan tree mango tree as we are there around just around us we can see many types of trees plants for this normal climate where we are there okay other than this we can see that there are uh, plants and uh, uh, trees in the dry sea, uh, region that is desert in a coastal region there also we can see the different uh, types of plants and even in the cold region also we can see many types of the plants we will learn this one by one now first of all adaptation of the plants growing in the desert that is dry area for example in the desert we can see cactus aloe vera and the stem thick stemmed plants will be there so they will grow usually in the sand then we know the desert means there is very less amount of water even the animals will not get the water every day or regularly some days there will be a some one pond like structure and after so four days it is going to disappear because they have they have the very hot sun rays and hot temperature will be there so that water is going to evaporate then uh, as we know that the plants need the lot of water but some type of plants are there they have adopted themselves to that particular reason like cactus aloe vera as i told you we can see the aloe vera part of the aloe vera uh, leaf of the aloe vera and the cactus leaf of the cactus plant they have spines spines means can you understand needle needle like structures those spines uh, will uh, will allow that leaf or that plant not to evaporate water from their body they will uh, avoid the evaporation of the water so they uh, the water can remain as it is the water can remain as it is for example three months back it has got some water even after three months also the water has not got from gone from the plant body because the adaptation of the plant is like that they have the spines and a thick stem aloe vera stem is very thick and the cactus stem is very thick and watery stem is there inside the stem it will help to store the water and even the stem will not allow to evaporate the water and even the leaf has the spines spines means can you understand needle like structure very sharp needle like structure those spines will not allow the sunlight to fall on them and uh, they will not allow the water to come out of the plant this is how the water is going to remain maintain its level in the desert uh this is how the plants have adopted in the desert okay in the next video we will learn how the plants have adopted themselves in the cold and uh, height point of the mountain and the hills and even under the uh, sorry in the coastal areas also coastal regions also but in this video we will end up to this before ending as children you can write down the question answers for the questions what is habitat what is the adaptation and you can write what are the terrestrial plants you can write uh, uh, how the um, plants have adopted themselves in the deserts i just know as i have explained you can write the answers for that i hope you will do this and uh, let us meet in the next video till then take care bye bye